Hi, Mike Thomas here, a real estate broker uh, for over 30 years here in South, sunny South Florida. And this video is about becoming a real estate agent. So you have thought about maybe becoming a real estate agent, but you're not really sure. So I'm gonna give you all the ins and outs about becoming a real estate agent, how to do it, how to make money uh, in real estate. And I'm gonna give away some really great secrets um, that no one has probably ever told you before at the end of this video. So stay tuned uh, and um, I'm going to go through everything with you, okay? So step number one is you want to become a real estate agent and you're going to make that decision whether you want to pursue the career or not. So step number one is making the decision to become a realtor. Um, okay. Next step is how do you do it? What's the first step? So the first step to do is contact um, your local realtor association and ask them for a packet um, about becoming a real estate agent. And then that packet should be some information about um, going to real estate school, uh, whether you can do it um, online, some states permit that, uh, or if you have to be inside a classroom. And count on about um, six to eight weeks of studying uh, to become a real estate agent. Your license is then good for two years. So you're gonna go to school, real estate school, you're gonna study, and then you're gonna have to take a state test. Now the real estate school prepares you to take the state test and so you're going to get your uh, required hours of education, school at class time in, and then you're going to go take a state exam. But before you do that, you have to fill out an application. So you're, they're gonna, uh, the state of whatever state you live in is going to uh, have an application process. Um, I would do that actually first before you go to school because it could take a couple of months before approving your application. If they approve your application, then they're going to say, okay, your application's in, we got your application, we got your fingerprints, um, and um, they may require a couple of other um, things such as a driver's license, they may run a background check on you, some states do that. Uh, to make sure that you are in good standing and that you're not wanted by the authorities or something like that. So now you have your application in, you got your fingerprints done. Um, roughly it could be about $100 to $200 for the application at this particular moment in time. Could be higher in some states, could be lower in other states, uh, but I would definitely check with the state that you're living in um, and that is uh, normally done at the capital of your state. Um, so if you're here in Florida, the capital would be Tallahassee. Um, that's where the realtors, um, we call it uh, the Department of Professional Services is at. So you filled out the application, you got fingerprinted, you went to school and you passed the state exam. Uh, now you're a qualified licensed real estate agent and you're now going to be solicited by all kinds of companies wanting you to come work for them. Um, so now the question is, is who do you go with? What do you decide to do? Are you going to go with a big name company and go with the corporate training or are you are going to go with a smaller company and get the one-on-one -on -one training with your broker? Um, and it all depends on you. Um, typically, I'd say start with a small broker, get the one-on-one -on -one training, um, and then go with the corporate big ones. I've been with all of the real estate franchise companies, all the big ones, and everybody seems to have the same training program. So what happens is when you all are out there, um, you're all basically saying the same thing to, the, to buyers and sellers because you have been trained all alike where when you go with a smaller brokerage firm you get more of that one-on-one -on -one training that you need um, to be successful in real estate 
So now you're with a real estate company, you have your real estate license, and you wanna make money. Well, how do you do that? Like any other business, it's going to take time, energy, effort, and money. I wish that there was a different way. I wish that I could tell you a silver bullet where you can just have your real estate license um, and make millions of dollars right out of the gate. But just like any other business that, that you have, you need to grow it. So you're gonna be contacting your friends, your relatives, uh, neighbors, anybody that you know, telling them that you're in the business, uh, passing out your license, going to events, and just basically letting the world know that you're a real estate agent, going on social medias, um, creating videos, um, you're going to be doing a lot of that. So now you're in business, you're a real estate agent, how do you make money? Well, uh, getting a good website with lead generation I think is very important. Some companies offer, our company um, offers lead generation. So what happens is with our company, you actually get leads to work. Of course, there's a price to pay for everything. You're going to pay either a percentage or a monthly fee or sometimes both to the company that you're working with that actually give you leads to work. So that's where the money comes in. You gotta have a little bit of starting capital to get going, but what I would do is save up some money before you decide to jump into real estate. Uh, can you do real estate part-time? The answer is it's very difficult. Um, you wouldn't go to a part-time doctor or a part-time lawyer or a part-time accountant if you needed help. You wanna go to someone who's a professional, who's been in the business, works at eight hours um, a day, seven days a week, 24 hours uh, a day on call, 365 days a year. You want somebody who knows their stuff. And that's another thing that you have to do is know your market. Uh, find out where you are uh, and get a niche market. Uh, find a niche. And niches are very important. Uh, to have because it allows you to do something that very few or uh, nobody is doing. If you find the right niche where nobody is doing it, uh, the problem is if it's a good niche, other people are going to see that and they're gonna come in and try to copycat your niche. But hopefully you'll have such a strong hold on the market where you don't have to worry about that. So for information on getting a real estate license and becoming a real estate agent in your state, I would first contact the local board of realtors and ask them for an information packet that can guide you through the process. Pretty simple um, state application. There's gonna be an application fee. Um, you're gonna probably get fingerprinted and they're gonna run a background check on you. You're gonna have to take uh, some class uh, depends on how long uh, the state that you're in. Some states require more hours, some a little less, but either way you're going to also have to take a state exam uh, that's comprised of a national part that you know the national laws regarding real estate and a state exam to, uh, for the state laws that are in your particular state. So now for the goody goodies, what are some of the secrets um, that are available? Okay, so you wanna know a few secrets about real estate. Um, I wish I could tell you that real estate is an easy business and that you're going to make millions, but like any other business, it requires a lot of time, money, and energy and hard work. That's the truth of the matter. Uh, not all real estate agents make a lot of money. I think the national average is pretty low uh, compared for all the work that you do and the money that you spend on things. But here is a big secret that I wish I would have known when I got into real estate. When you first come into real estate and you don't have a lot of money, 
even though your real estate company or the broker that you're working for tells you to get listings, get listings, get listings, get listings, which is really great for the real estate company, but not so good for you. If the market isn't hot where you're living and you're spending all of your money doing brochures, videos, uh, professional photography, aerial drone shots, uh, even if you can get all of that at a discount and uh, you know putting it on your social media and growing your social medias um, and getting your listing out there if the listing expires or you don't have enough network built up to sell that listing you may actually lose money instead of making money so my recommendation is is work with buyers first out of the gate just until you get a good foundation going so join a team we're here at the Thomas team of Premier Brokers International Real Estate in South Florida Palm Beach County um, people come to me and say what should I do join our team become a buyers agent work some buyers first this way you're not spending any money other than time and gas um, we teach you how to do good searches on the multiple listing because you're going to have to join the board of realtors and uh, learn how to look for properties with tens of thousands of listings that are in our multiple listing alone we have to weed out those and find those needles in a haystack listings that other people are not experienced enough to find and so work with buyers Take them around, show them houses, that's a buyer's agent. And if you're part of a team, the team will help you uh, with preparing the contracts and things like that until you get your feet wet and ready to um, go on this wonderful adventure of real estate. Um, after that, if you feel comfortable, you may take a listing or two. I wouldn't go for the high price listings at first because every real estate agent is going to look for the high price listings and your your competition is going to be huge look for listings that are close to you easy to service that you can give a one-on-one -on -one, uh, very friendly um, service to that you're always going to be there that you're always going to and just give them the top service five-star service you're also going to be working a lot of uh, evenings and weekends. So if you want your evenings and weekends, real estate is not going to make you a lot of money if you don't. Because most people, when they get off of work, they want to look at houses. Uh, most people hold open houses on Sundays. Uh, take out buyers on Saturdays. So those are the common misconception that people think that they can work a nine to five job make their own hours work a part time and um, if you work at part time you're better off being a referral agent which means when you find somebody just refer to somebody who knows what they're doing until you build up enough money in uh, savings to actually become a full-time agent and really work real estate and give the service to your clients as as they so much deserve and that's my take on becoming a real estate agent good luck if you have any questions please leave them below uh, please subscribe to the channels because we always have new and upcoming videos that will help you build your business and move forward in real estate um, so please subscribe leave a comment and please click the notification bell so you're always notified you're always going to be the first person to get the information before anyone else okay have a wonderful day see you out there